morning, fellow privateers. Good morning, Asia. Here's the North American wrap, Asia preview. Not expecting a whole lot in your session, unfortunately. It was extremely quiet in North America. Uh, it seems like the market is waiting for the US CPI number tomorrow, which the core month on month expected plus 0.2 percent. I think we'll get a reaction if it comes in 0 0.3, 0 0.4 or you know maybe flat. Um, you know, bonds have been under some pressure of late and uh, I think if we do get a get kind of a, a decent number, a high number, this equity rally could uh, come undone a bit. Bond yields could continue higher, approach that 3% level in the 10-year. So definitely pay attention to the CPI number tomorrow. That could also lead to some more dollar strength if it's high. If it's weak, then, uh, you know, reversal of that. Stock's probably higher, bonds higher, and dollar lower. Let's take a look at the Euro-Aussie chart just to reiterate what my colleague said earlier. Um, if you watch the was the North American Open, 156.10, 0.510 area, very important, all these lows on the daily. When, these, when this pair breaks, it tends to fall through for at least a few days, so I think a break of that, that area, there's no reason you can't go down to the 100-day, which is 153.55, uh, sorry, yeah, 154.80. I think would be the first stop. So that uh, sounds like a long way away. We do have uh, RBA assistant governor speaking tonight, but not really expecting anything out of him. Um, let's pop over to the euro. The dollar on balance, you know, here's the dollar index on the daily. It was under a little bit of pressure following, um, following its descent on Friday. Kind of really in no man's land. Um, Dollar yen, we discussed yesterday. I believe it was before this. These ASO rumors. Um, he did come out and say he's, he's the finance minister. Did come out and say that he will not be attending the G20. People are speculating that maybe he's going to step down. Now again, he is in charge of the MOF and not the uh, BOJ. But you know, it it could add a little volatility. So. Dollar yen closed right near the lows of the day. Um, we get over to the hourly chart. You can see some of the moving average of moving averages of importance are just below. Seems to be a bit here around 30 for now. It's contained it even when equities came off a bit in the afternoon. Uh, 106.30 is now the 200 hour, and below there is 106.20. Call it 20. For the 100 hour, we've been above them since uh, March 8th when we when we spiked last week. Thursday, I believe that was. Um, you know, so there's some positive news developing with North Korea, which led to yen selling, cross yen buying. Uh, that seems to have fizzled out a little bit, although there really hasn't been anything on the headlines during our session. So it's this kind of broad dollar weakness. Uh, we also were looking at this 139.10 level. Let's pop over the in cable. It didn't really get anything going. That's still a number. It got up to about 18. You know, maybe above this 30, 139.30. We can get some legs. Again, that would be dependent on uh, on a weak U.S. CPI. Look at the stocks and see what they've done today. The uh, Nasdaq. <clears throat> went on and made a marginal new high, but reversed lower. So small reversal day, nothing that damaging in its uptrend. And the S&P, we also had Friday was a slight lower day, and we were kind of close in the middle of the range today. Again, nothing, no real pattern that's telling me that that's going down. Uh, 2810 is an area that we've been looking at. Uh, we're trading 2785-ish. 
Fix didn't do much today. Um, again, not, not much data out. Uh, we got ZEW and uh, European ZEW. Uh, but the market's really just waiting on. Uh... Oh, we do have a spring forecast statement that's coming out of um, the UK. That could be interesting to listen to. That's uh, kind of midday UK. And then, uh, and then the U.S. CPI. So keep your powder dry. Not a whole lot going on, and uh, we will speak to you on the uh, on the European Open. Good luck. Cheers.